Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Crayon Lane Teach and today we're going to be talking about addition and in this video we're going to be talking about teaching addition using concrete materials or pictures so if you think that's something that you're going to find useful then keep on watching. So today we're looking at addition using concrete materials. So there are lots of different ways that you can teach this. So one fun way to do this is to ask a child that you're working with to perhaps pick two out of a selection of number flashcards, ask them to pick any two numbers so then they are getting the choice of the two numbers that they're adding together. So for example, I might go for the number two and the number three, then we'll move away the ones that we're not using. So we're going to do the addition to add three. So what you could do is you could ask your child to then count out two things, two objects, and then three objects, and then possibly place them underneath the card. So today I'm going to be using counters, but you can use any types of loose parts. You can use cubes, you can use even things like pasta, buttons, just whatever you've got in your classroom or around your house. So I'm going to count out one, two, then one, oops, two, three. So make sure and ask your child that you're working with to check <laughs> that they've actually counted out the correct amount for each of the groups, making sure that they touch each object while they're counting. So one, two, and then one, two, three. Then you can ask your child to count how many objects there are all together to add them together. So one, two, three, four, five. And then they could tell you obviously that they have five all together. So two add three equals five. Now the flashcards that I've got here are actually ones that I've made and they're, um, they're actually available in my TPT store so I'll leave the link down below. However you could always just use bits of card at home, bits of paper, just cut out um, little bits of card and invite your own numbers on it. It doesn't need to be anything fancy. So if you don't have any concrete materials available to you, things like counters or buttons or cubes, you could also get the same kind of result by using um, pictures. So here we're just looking at our addition again, two add three equals. And I always like to get um, any children that I'm working with to read out the addition, almost like you read out a sentence, just making sure that they know what each of the numbers are and what each of the symbols mean as well. And obviously they're getting used to knowing what the addition symbol looks like and what the equal symbol looks like. So for this addition here, you could ask your child to draw a picture to help them with this addition. So underneath the number two, they can draw one, two circles and then they can write out the addition symbol again and then underneath the number three they can draw one two three circles and then write the equals sign and again i'd be making sure that the child that you're working with has um, drawn out the correct number of pictures or circles whatever they're drawing to help them and again just asking them to touch each picture while they're counting just to um, practice that one-to-one -one correspondence when they're counting then I would ask the child that I'm working with to count how many circles or pictures they have all together to get the answer to their addition. So one, two, three, four, five. And then they could either draw five circles or pictures to show how many they've got all together, or they can actually just write the number to show their answer as well. So here's another variation of teaching addition using concrete materials and again I'm going to be using flashcards as well. Now as I said you can either um, print ones off that you find online like these ones that are available in my TPT store or you can just make your own using pieces of card or paper. So here I have the addition 4 add 5 equals and again I'd be asking whatever child you're working with to read out the addition to make sure that they know what each of the numbers are and what each of the symbols mean and then I would be asking each child to count out four things, four objects for this um, part of the addition and then five objects for this part of the addition. So here we've got one, two, three, four and again making sure that they're counting them out correctly, touching each one as they count and what's good about these flashcards actually is they have the number shown there so they've got the number, the word but they've also got four dots in a ten frame so the children can and four dots on a dice. So the children can actually check that they've counted out the correct number of objects. And then for this part of the addition, we're going to have one, two, three, four, five. So here we have four 
add 5 equals. So then what we're going to do is we're going to move all of these counters together here to show how many we've got all together. So here we've got our first group here and then we're going to move this slot as well. And then we're going to ask the child that you're working with to count how many counters we have all together. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then the child that you're working with can either write the answer nine, eight, four add five equals nine, or if you are working with flashcards and you're wanting to make sure that your child can recognize the number nine, they can also find the correct flashcard as well and show that too. Now, one thing to make sure when you're counting, as I said, is to make sure that the child that you're working with is touching each object as they are counting them. Now, a good way to do this would be to show your child to move the counters or the objects across as they're counting them, just so that they don't get mixed up and count the same thing twice. So what I mean is something like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine. So that's another way that you can teach um, your child addition using simple things that you can find in hopefully any classroom and around the house. So thank you very much for watching and I really hope you found this useful.